Hi, what I'd like to do today is show you the completed electric ATV. There's actually two videos that I posted earlier on the electric ATV. One was a closer look at the detail of the construction without the plastic cowling on it. And the second one was the battery compartment. So I won't cover those in detail, but uh, I'll just give you kind of a, a tour around the vehicle. This is actually the third conversion I've done. I started off first converting a 1978 Kawasaki 175 to electric. I then converted a snowmobile to electric, which is a 1980, was, was a 1980 Yamaha SS440. And of course, third now is my electric ATV. If we could, we can start over on this side and I can just briefly explain the battery again like i said there's a there's a detailed explanation um, a, a, a separate video detailing the battery but the battery when it's fully charged is 75.6 volts it's a 20 or it's an 18s 24p battery so each cell is 4.2 volts fully charged that's what gives me the total charge the battery has 24 parallel batteries, each one being uh, approximately 3.4 amp hours. So total with the 24 p configuration is almost 82 amp hours. So you look at the nominal voltage in those amp hours, that gives you a kilowatt hour number of about 5.4. So it's about half the size of the snowmobile and the motorcycle. Uh, I have done some test runs with it, and it will go top speed about 30 miles per hour. And uh, I haven't done a, a durability test yet, or a, a, an endurance test to see how long it will go. But I'm guessing, quite frankly, I'll charge it up in the springtime, full charge, it will last all summer. We don't take it on the road, it's just locally used on the property, and it'll be all we need. So with that high-level background, let me uh, start out with, of course, the battery, which I just explained. I use a motor. It's a 3,000-watt motor with an approximate 3 to 1 gear reduction unit. I go through a Lovejoy coupler to a gearbox that was actually out of the original uh, ATV. I, I converted the input shaft, but I maintained the four-wheel drive, so it is a four-wheel drive ATV. I use a Voltol, V-O-T-O-L, controller. It's made for this size motor and battery capacity. And uh, I think with that, let me uh, uh, end the video here, and we'll take it outside and give a brief demo ride. Uh, it is Michigan, northern Michigan. It's cold outside, so I'll, it'll be a brief video, but I'll demonstrate how it works. Okay, what I'd like to do now is just a brief demonstration drive of the electric ATV. The first step in the process, and it's really no different than how I've done my motorcycle and snowmobile, is the first step is turning on a master main switch. And that allows me to completely isolate the positive side of the battery from the system. And as you've seen in the earlier videos, I also have a switch for the negative side of the system. And it's also my anti-anxiety range switch. But anyway, power's on. I turn the ignition on. My electric display comes on. And I have a green light that comes on that shows that I'm in the um, forward gear of the system. I have a simple toggle switch. I can push that down and that puts it in reverse. And I can go backwards. I'll just do a little bit so you can see me move. To go forward. Click the switch like that. Green light comes on, ready to go forward. So with that, I'm just going to spin around the, uh, the driveway.